Hello and welcome back. We now discuss one more example from regression analysis. The question is from the data of 20 pairs of observations of x and y, the following results are obtained. x bar is 199, y bar is 94, summation x minus x bar square is 1200, summation y minus y bar square equals 300, summation x minus x bar times y minus y bar equal to minus 250. We have to obtain the regression line of y on x, second the regression line of x on y and third the correlation coefficient between x and y. Now in order to obtain the y on x regression equation we need x bar which is already given then we require y bar and we need byx that is regression coefficient of y on x. So the first step would be we would calculate the regression coefficient of y on x that is byx. So byx is given by summation x minus x bar into y minus y bar upon summation x minus x bar square. Now this product over here this total has been given as minus 250 upon and this total is 1200 so 1 2 0 0 now if we simplify this this gets cancelled out 5 5 za, then 5 20 4 za. so the value for byx is minus 5 by 24 and now we could obtain the regression equation of y on x. So therefore, the regression equation of y on x is, the formula is y minus y bar is equal to byx into x minus x bar. We just proceed further. So y minus y bar. y bar is 94 is equal to byx is minus 5 by 24 into x minus x bar. x bar is 199. So let us simplify this. So 24 times y minus 94 is minus 5 into x minus 199 so we get 24y minus now 94 into 24 that gives us 2256 so this is 2256 is equal to minus 5x plus now 5 times 199 that is 995. So finally we have 24y is equal to minus 5x. This if you transfer it on the right it gets added up. So we have 995 plus 2256. So that's 3251. So plus 3251. So this one is the y on x regression equation. Now next we calculate BXY. So that would be step number 2. Now BXY could be calculated as summation X minus X bar into Y minus Y bar divided by summation Y minus Y bar square. The numerator total is minus 250 and denominator total here it's 300 so we cancel the zeros and then reduce it further we have 5 5 za, 5 6 za. so bxy is a minus 5 by 6 so therefore we could say the regression equation of x on y is so the equation is x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar. 
so that is x minus x bar x bar is 199 is equal to bxy is minus 5 by 6 into y minus y bar y bar is 94 again we cross multiply that is 6 times x minus 199 is equal to minus 5 into y minus 94 we just open up the brackets here so we have 6x minus now 199 into 6 that gives 1194 so minus 1194 is equal to minus 5y plus 94 into 5 94 into 5 gives 470 so 470 so we have the equation 6x is equal to minus 5y this gets added on the right hand side 470 plus 1194 that is 1664 so this is the x on y regression equation now we calculate r that is correlation coefficient with the help of BYX and BXY. We've already calculated BYX in step number 1. And the value was minus 5 by 24. And in step 2 we have calculated BXY. The value was minus 5 by 6. Using these two regression coefficients we will now obtain the correlation coefficient as we know that R square is equal to BYX into BXY which would be minus 5 upon 24 into minus 5 by 6 which gives us 25 upon 144 so therefore the value for R would be plus or minus root of 25 upon 144 which is plus or minus 5 by 12 but since the regression coefficients are negative the correlation coefficient will also be negative so we just mention that as BYX and BXY are negative therefore the value for R would be minus 5 by 12 or we could calculate this as now 5 divided by 12 gives 0 0.4166 so that is minus 0 0.4166 or we can round it off as 67 so this is how you calculate the correlation coefficient like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos. Thank you.